March 24th, James Douglas Trent was found dead at his home by the authorities. An anonymous tip-off. He was stabbed 16 times at his computer and a noose placed around his neck. No clues were found at the scene. Five different people had tried to Skype call James in the hours before his death, and these are the only leads the police have to his murder. All have the perfect alibi. They were at home, in isolation, fearing the virus. Now it's up to you, the public, to play detective by asking these five suspects questions to try and piece together the killer's identity. Detective Gilbert Lacey began the questioning. So what exactly was your relationship with the deceased? We were friends. I wouldn't say close friends. Let's say work colleagues. I don't think James had too many close friends. He was a bit of a scumbag, really. Yeah. Nobody liked James Trent. He didn't let you like him. Well, he was into this whole two metre social distancing thing long before it was popular. Yeah. I think Alison Thomas was probably the closest he had to a real friend. I just sang in his bar. That's all I was. A singer. I brought people in on a Saturday night. That's all I did. I didn't get treated any better. Any worse? I think they were more than just friends. If you know what I mean? If James did have a close friend, it was probably Richard Hart. He ran the place when Trent was out of town. They were probably too close for my liking. I hated James Trent with every bone of my body. Look, I didn't bloody kill him, but I am glad he's dead. I saw a lot of suspects because he wasn't a very popular guy, was he? I grew up with Jimmy. Crack and bloke. Would do anything for anybody. You know, heart of gold and all that crap. He just rubbed people up the wrong way, that's all. I mean, we've all done it at some point. You show me someone who thinks they're loved, and I'll show you a liar. I think his ex-wife probably had it in for him most, though. I mean, Barbara, she just... She just wouldn't let go. I think I've probably said too much already. She didn't like the relationship with that singer. Now I'd drive around with a mask and gloves to stab that bitch. Our relationship was business. His wife didn't like me, but... You know how unstable women can be sometimes. Nuts. I've been seeing James for about six months. Although I hadn't actually seen him for weeks due to this virus nonsense, but... You know, we kept everything under wraps, really. He was having trouble with his ex-wife and the bar manager. Something was going on between them. Well, I just ran the bar. I had nothing to do with killing him. <laughs> I can tell you that for nothing. I Don't look at me. Yeah, I was minding my own business. Poor James. His head was all over the place. Sarah. Sarah Holmes. Now there's a strange girl for you. Something about hair I never liked. I think she was just using James. I'm thinking, you know... I'm thinking the wife. Yeah. My money's on Barbara. The singer, Alison. It was only a matter of time before James got fed up of her. Richard Hart treated that place as though it was his own. He did all the work. Maybe he wanted all the glory. Just a thought. I wouldn't look any further than Sarah. She was taking James for a ride. I just knew it. She got into his head. She threw him off balance. Any woman that throws you off balance can't be good. John Haven? James was always lending him money. He couldn't say no. John and James have secrets between them. Perhaps one of those secrets was ready to come out. Five suspects, all with a reason to kill James Trent. But who did it? And why? A tough case to crack. We asked some of the best murder detectives in the country for their thoughts. 
none of them got back to us. So we assembled this bunch. I don't like the look of any of them. All a bit shifty, if you ask me. I want to know if the bar was in trouble. You know, all about the money. It always is in my experience. Yeah. I'd like to know that too. The barman. Just heart. We're too willing to point the finger at the wife. Alice and the singer for me don't like her eyes. Evil eyes. It's the wife. In cases like this, it's always the wife. James has put it about a bit. Barbara got jealous. Simple. Cut and dry for me. It's the wife. We have a dead bar owner, a bartender, a singer, a wife, a best friend, and a girlfriend. All of them. Maybe they all plotted this whole thing. All got together and planned every little detail. I saw it in a film once. They all played their part. One of them I got some apple things. Suicide. That's my idea. A well-staged suicide. All makes perfect sense. I'd start looking into who was in his will. It's just a thought, but maybe there's a policy somewhere that could blow this case wide open. Are you joking me? Suicide? You were stabbed 16 times? Calm down, love. It was just a thought. Who's the best friend? Typical story of a loser who wants what his friends got. Who's always borrowing money. Gambler, or worse, drugs. Oh. I think we're missing the main suspect here, guys. The girlfriend bit on the side. It's always the bit on the side. Maybe James wanted to end it, go back to his wife, his friend, the singer, the barman. Who knows? Nothing is straightforward here. Exactly the same plot in Quincy the other night. Seen it all before. Money laundering. Or was it Columbo? Oh, it was one of them. I've been watching a lot of that stuff lately. Look. I didn't expect to be called for a murder case. I'm off work for three months, I've got a dodgy lung. Could be Mr. Mustard in a study with the candlestick for all I know. I think it's the bald guy. Never trust a baldy. One of us is right. But we need to be asking the right questions. We need to probe them. Even scare them a little. We need to make them think we actually know what's going on. Can you do better than this lot? What probing questions would you ask? Do you care? Why have you got this far? Why am I in an echo chamber? Comment below, and together we'll bring the killer to justice. Who killed Jimmy? It's a mystery. Jimmy's daddy's brown bread, and I know it was me. Who killed Jimmy? Put that noose around his neck. Jim's deceased and still the police have no clues yet. No clues yet. No clues yet. And if you solve this mystery, you can show the world who killed Jimmy. Who killed Jimmy? Jimmy called Sherlock Quarrel 2 Take no chances, we need answers Cause next it could be you Who killed Jimmy alone there at his desk If it was you, there'd be some clues There's time to find them, yeah When we solve this mystery We will show the world who killed Jimmy Jimmy Oh, who killed Jimmy And when we solve this mystery We will show the world Who killed Jimmy